Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. This is my August favorites video. I've got a lot to go over here. I've got some hair care, I've got some skin care, I've got some makeup. So let's get right into it. The first product that I want to talk about is my hair color from e -Salon. Now, whoops, there goes the brush. This um, small little e -Salon portion of the video is sponsored. I want you to know that up front, but I did tell e -Salon I would only do the sponsorship if I could say, you know, 100% honestly what I thought of it, if I could use it first, if I could see how it wore over time, and that if I really loved it, then I would do the sponsored video. They did send me the product twice now. The first time I colored my hair, I used two boxes from CVS. I wasn't happy with the root color because it turned brassy, it faded, it didn't color the gray well. So when e -Salon contacted me and said that their service offers custom mixed salon quality color that offers a hundred percent gray coverage that is custom formulated for my hair type my amount of gray um, I was all over it it sounded like the answer to my prayers and it was so the first time I used it was back in May I wanted a really dark brown they mixed that up sent it to me and it came out perfect it was exactly what I wanted and then I told you guys that I would check back in with you and to let you know how it wore over time and I gotta say it wore great it didn't um, fade off of my gray hair so my gray hair was a hundred percent covered the entire time that it was on there it was just when it grew out you know that I I, the gray came back. Um, it didn't turn brassy. It didn't dry out my hair. My hair was shiny and felt healthy and good. So when my roots grew in, that time I was happy with the product. I was going to come on and tell you guys and do this portion of the video, but I was nervous about coloring it myself again, even though it did come out good when I did it. So I went to a salon. So there was a little bit of a lag between the first time I used e -Salon product and now. And can I tell you that going to a salon just cemented for me how much I love this product because going to the salon, I spent $350, but even though I showed her the exact same pictures that I showed to the e-salon people, she still mixed up the base color way too warm and way too light. So my hair came out way blonder, way lighter than I wanted. So I was like, oh, I can't believe I just paid 350 plus tip for this, and again, it's not right. So when that color grew out, I emailed e -Salon back and I said, you know what? The previous color, while it was perfect, my new color now is a little bit lighter and I would like to recolor my hair using your color. Can we adjust it? And this is one of the best things about e -Salon, is that they keep a record of your hair color that is mixed up by their professional colorists. And so if you need an adjustment for any reason, they just mix you up a new formula based on what you want. I colored my hair with it a couple of days ago. I think the hair color looks terrific. I mean, I was just looking at it like all throughout and it really covered all my gray and blended in really nicely with what I had going on before. I am thrilled with e -Salon. So if you're interested in trying e -Salon, they are offering a 50% discount to my viewers for first time purchasers. Click the link below. You can get your first order for $10 and that is a great deal. Now the rest of the video, not sponsored. These of course are all items that I did pay for with my own money that I'm going to tell you about and that have become my favorites. I bought you guys a hugely expensive blow dryer. Um, and can I tell you, I was kind of shocked that I bought this. This is the T3 Featherweight 2 Tourmaline Hair Dryer. Now this cost $200. I bought it at Ulta. In my wildest dreams, I would never imagine that I would be plunking down that kind of money on a hair dryer. But the last blow dryer that I bought, I think cost me $140. And every single time I used it as I was you know, doing what they tell you at the salon, using the round brush and aiming the air down the shaft, I could see my hair frizzing up. And I was like, what the heck? Is it my hair? Is it the blow dryer? Is it the products? And as you know, I battled the frizz, and especially during the summer, it is a problem. And this whole summer, since I got this blow dryer, my frizz has been completely under control. I love this thing. It's got the tourmaline, but it also pushes the air out of the blow dryer in a way that it's not coming out so fast so it doesn't like blow your hair all over the place and it's featherweight so it is super light and I gotta say with my last hair dryer my arm was getting tired by the time I finished drying my whole head of hair and so this is lightweight it doesn't blow my hair around I don't watch my hair frizzing up as I'm using it it has three heat settings and two 
uh, air settings. What I really love about it is the cool shot button is big and you know with my previous blow dryer it had this tiny little nubbin of a button and I could never press it and hold it so I could never do the cool shot. This one it's so comfortable to press it and hold it even with my older hands. A lot of money but I am so glad I got it so I just wanted to show it to you um, in case you're in the market for a hugely expensive hair dryer. What the heck? I can highly recommend that one. I think if you did plunk down the, down the money on it, you would not be disappointed. The last thing in hair care, I do believe, is this Living Proof Frizz Humidity... Oh, no, it's got a line through the frizz, so no frizz, I guess. Humidity Shield Hairspray. I bought this uh, before my trip to Spain to take. It's a perfect little travel size. I am going to get the big size of this, but with always battling the frizz as I am, I had been using a different hairspray that I like for winter, but in summer, it just wasn't holding it. You know, when it was a really humid day, my hair was frizzing up. I got this and psh, 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 the frizz does not bother me anymore. This, when I get my hair styled and nice between the blow dryer and this, I have had an actual frizz-free summer. I am so happy. So those are three great products that I've used for my hair this summer and I feel like my hair has been it's been the best summer my hair's ever had because of Isalon and my new blow dryer and this new hairspray. All right, so we'll segue from there into skincare. As you know, I'm battling my pores, but I'm also battling with breakouts. I had tried a salicylic acid wash to try to help with that, and it was too harsh for my skin. I couldn't use it. I broke out more. My skin was red and irritated and burning. So I started the hunt for a salicylic acid, like leave-on, moisturizer or something that I could put just in these areas where my breakouts tend to be. It's hormonal acne. It's right in the classic hormonal acne areas. I searched every salicylic acid product in the drugstore because they're all made for younger people with acne. They all have a huge amount of SD alcohol, denatured alcohol, which is terribly drying. But on my 54 year old skin, that is not going to cut it. I needed something without alcohol in it, and this was the only product that I could find. This is Neutrogena Pore Refining Moisturizer. It has retinol and salicylic acid. It says it visibly reduces the appearance of pores for softer, smoother skin. And um, I have been just loving this. I put it on in the morning after I put on my vitamin C serum because both of these are acids and they need kind of a low pH to work. So I put them on together and I just leave them on there for about 10 or 15 minutes to do their magic. And then I go in with the rest of my skincare. And my face has been miraculously clear for like two weeks since, almost since the day after I started using this. I'm so super happy with this. I can't even tell you if you're dealing with hormonal acne, but your skin is drier, this won't dry out your skin. It hasn't irritated my skin. Love it. Okay, on to the makeup. If you guys look in the information box below my videos, I always list all the makeup that I'm wearing. If you've looked lately, you have seen that I've been obsessively wearing this Hourglass Film Noir Mascara. Um, this is just a little sample size that I got. I think it was maybe the 100 point perk at Sephora or something. And I do have to go and buy this because this has become my go-to everyday mascara. It has beat my Definisils, my Hypnose Drama. Um, actually, if you go in today's video, you'll see that I am wearing Hypnose Drama. I decided to wear it because I was doing this more dramatic eye look. And this doesn't give quite the drama of the Hypnose Drama, but it gives a lot of length and it doesn't look clumpy and spiry, you know? I just think it's so pretty to have like a natural looking, like feathery f fringe of, you know, batty eyelashes. So that's been a great one. It Cosmetics had sent me this in one of their QVC TSVs a while back, and a lot of people had asked me about this, how it was going with this, and I've been using it a lot lately. I just got back from two weeks of vacation um, at the beach, and I use this for my day blush because it's just kind of a really pretty matte peachy blush. It's just screamed kind of summer to me, and where it's made with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder, it really does kind of smooth over the pores, and I've been absolutely loving that. And the last product um, is another makeup. This I did a Try It Tuesday on a couple weeks ago. This is the Too Faced Brow Envy Complete Eyebrow Kit. This is fantastic. I've been using this all the time since I got it and did the review on it. It's eyebrow stencils. I just thought these stencils were great. They come in three different sizes. It's also got the tweezers, the spoolie, the application brush, 
The application brush is really the one thing in here that I don't like that much. Um, it's not fantastic. I do prefer to use the Sigma E45 Small Tapered Blending, and I like the blonde shade. So I've been using this a lot. I did my eyebrows with it today. I love it. Brows are on fleek. This is a really great product. Oh, did I say that was the last thing? It wasn't the last thing. The last thing is that I got a new makeup brush. This one is from Morphe. This is their E33 makeup brush. I got it to replace this brush. I believe this brush has been discontinued. I can't find anywhere to buy it anymore. I love putting on my blush with this, but I know a lot of people whenever I do like um, that kind of a tutorial, they ask me where I get where they can get this brush and I hadn't been able to find anything that was close enough to it, size and softness and everything. And this is just just right. It's got the same kind of softness, the same kind of bristles, about the same size. It's a little bit bigger and a little bit thicker this way, but all in all it's a very nice um, replacement for this brush. I think it was maybe 14 or 16 dollars, something like that. I'll locate it and link it below. So that was it for the August favorites. Thanks so much for watching. You know I always appreciate your time and again if you're interested in trying out the Isalon hair color click the link below so that you can get 50% off for your first time using the service. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.